I'm William Byron, and this is Three Wide Life. Hey there, I'm Megan Cold, and welcome to Three Wide Life. Today we have an awesome show for you guys as we feature a young and popular driver who is quickly growing a name for himself. We're in one of the biggest racing cities, Mooresville, North Carolina, hanging out at Junior Motorsports, talking with William Byron about everything from Xfinity racing to Dale Jr. and where he sees himself in the future. To kick off this show, Mike Garrity is going to take it back to the beginning and learn about how William got his start in racing. So William, take me back, it wasn't that long ago, but tell me, how did you even get started in this racing? What's your first memory of motorsports? Yeah, so basically, when I started watching racing, I was six years old, um, I just wanted to go to a race. I just wanted to see the spectacle, what it was like to, to attend a race, and um, it was kind of a, um, a chance for me to go with my dad and have fun, and he took me to Martinsville, and that was my first cup race that I went to, and, uh, from then I just went to five or six races a year. I was a huge fan of it and it was something that I could do with my dad that would be uh, a fun experience and something that I really enjoyed. Okay, so you were 14. A lot of these kids, I mean, they're starting six, seven, eight years old, go-karts yeah. and, and quarter midgets. Were you behind the eight ball? Did you kind of feel like this wasn't really going to work for you because of how old you were? Uh, yeah, at first, for sure. I mean, the first time I can remember really clearly uh, we had went to the legend car uh, shop and looked at a legend car and um, the guys working there uh, looked at me and they they looked at our situation and they they knew I knew nothing about driving a car and didn't even know how to push the pedals or anything so uh, they were they were kind of laughing and kind of unsure of whether I could do this and um, but they told me about a race that was going on at Concord that night and my dad and I went out there to watch a legend car race and I at the that time I felt so distant from what it was going to be like to drive a car that I can't imagine now being where I am and now knowing what I do about racing. So it's uh, I definitely felt behind at first, but luckily I was able to catch up and, um, and be where I am now. So tell me about your legend car experience before we move on. How quick did you get up to speed and did you have anybody helping you that helped you to kind of figure out what you were looking for? Yeah, it, uh, I got up to speed, I guess, fairly quickly. I mean, uh, at first I, I just went out and did the Legend Car Driving School, and um, they have a great program and system over there that you can go and, and practice a car um, and get coaching and understand what the car does and how to use even the clutch. I mean, I couldn't even roll off the grid at first because I didn't know how to use the clutch, but, um, you know, all those little things that, that matter a lot. And then once I got started in Legend Car, racing. I uh, had Dennis Lambert who helped me a ton and just was a guy that uh, could travel and, and take me around to different racetracks and I think we ran 70 races in my first year and that, that really uh, helped the learning curve and I was able to win quite a few races that year and we just that kind of progressed my career. Okay so you at some point decided all right Legends Cars have kind of done this what was the next step and, and how did you decide to make that jump? Well, that was um, the next step was Junior Motorsports. It was um, I was running late models or wanted to run late models, and uh, we had looked around a few different teams. Um, you know, racing is an expensive sport, and it takes a lot of finance to to get there. So I had to have a company and a brand that I could build around and something that um, I could attract sponsors with. So um, that was Junior Motorsports for me. They they had an opportunity to run a second car and. Um, luckily, with their branding and their marketing, I was able to get Liberty University on board to help with the program, and um, that kind of just started my whole big car career. And once I got that started, I was, I guess, in the family of, of Junior Motorsports, and luckily I've been able to return and be in the Xfinity car. So you were running a uh, late model for Junior, and then stepped away to go to a totally different manufacturer. Yeah kind of a competitor in a lot of senses. Tell me about that decision. How hard was that to make? 
Yeah, it was hard. Um, it was difficult because this was the place that I grew up and I had been running here for a few years. Um, you know, I ran the Canyon Park just down the street at H. Scott and uh, that was still in the family, still in the Chevy camp and, and everything and uh, still something I could come back here and, and run late models on the side. So, um, you know, when the opportunity for the truck came about, uh, Liberty wanted to, to go full time in, X, or in the truck series and um, at that point there wasn't an opportunity for me at JRM with the truck program so I had to find somewhere else and uh, KBM was a great platform for me. It was really the, the next step for me. I, could, I knew I could win races and they gave me a platform that I could, could do that and really progress my career.